Well, Texans should know where their tax dollars are going for the next two years as soon as tomorrow. The chief budget writer in the House says the final financial touches are in the works, including $2 billion from the Rainy Day Fund for crucial water projects. KXAN political reporter Josh Hinkle tells us how you, the voter, almost had to make that massive decision for yourself. Wow, it's a little gust of wind just came up. The catch of the day for Brandon Rabke was finding out he probably won't have to cast a vote to fix one of the state's biggest problems. The low water flows. It looks like lawmakers have found a way to fund water infrastructure projects themselves. Our current water needs and then our future water needs. But they almost left a plan to pay for water, schools, and transportation up to voters. Here's why. Think of this water bottle as the state budget. The legislature wants to spend a lot, but they've almost hit their cap. But if voters say yes, they could spend more money by dipping into the rainy day fund. We still have a lot of work to do in a very short amount of time. House members are still sorting through the latest rainy day details, but it's clear leaders now want to keep funding decisions out of voters' hands. Otherwise... That means that the budget is being held hostage to that election. We're sent here to make those types of decisions. Um, it should fall on our shoulders, is my personal opinion. The move means the budget is almost wrapped up. Hoping we can get some good weather and find some fish. No longer fishing for a solution. After a long session, the legislature can likely take a break. Be today at work. In Austin, Josh Hinkle, KXAN News. Texans should know where their tax dollars are going for the next two years as soon as tomorrow. No word yet on how lawmakers will get around exceeding the spending cap. That move could be touchy for some lawmakers later who seek re-election. However, they have appeared to agree on how to pump billions back into schools while transportation is still up in the air. The governor has already signed 35 bills into law this session, but hundreds of others are flying through the legislature in the session's last couple of weeks. Today, a Senate panel will schedule to hear a bill to allow concealed handgun license holders to carry their weapons into college classrooms. The Senate Education Committee was set to hear a bill today on a pilot program for a three-year high school diploma and expanding full-day pre-K. And the governor just signed a bill to outlaw euthanizing pets with carbon monoxide instead of the more humane way of injection.